Hello Aquarius, welcome to your December 2019 General Psychic Tarot reading and welcome Aquarius to the end of a decade and almost the beginning of a new one. Can you believe it? We're at the end of 2019, about to head into 2020 Aquarius. We're setting for this, we're setting the stage essentially. We're setting the stage for ourselves for the next 10 years. That is the overall theme. And let me tell you, Aquarius, the, uh, <laughs> the transitional energy in the sky and the stars is very much reflective of this period in time as well, as it usually is, of course. And that is why people like myself are here <laughs> to interpret that, the cosmos and psychic energy. So Aquarius, as always, I'm going to begin with the main astrological events here in December, and I'm going to begin shuffling your psychic tarot messages. But good news right off the bat, I want to share, if you don't know already, is Mercury has gone direct. So whew, if you've been feeling a little confused, if you've been having technological issues, if there has been miscommunication or delay in communication, waiting to hear back from someone, that clears up, things move forward, people communicate more forward and direct now, Aquarius, it's awesome. <laughs> and before I forget too, there is a big theme, and this is going on all the way into 2020, with the Jupiter and Saturn transit as well. Now I'm not really gonna get into the details of that, but it's nice to be aware of that there is the big transition between those planets and those, they don't move as much as fast as some of the others, so a lot more rare. Now on the 12th, we'll have the Gemini full moon. And this full moon is really a lively one and it's gonna feel really good for you, Aquarius. Fellow air energy. And it's, you know, it's lively, it's a little more playful. And overall, in general for everyone, there's a focus on more intellectual pursuits, intellectual games or learning that strikes your passion and that also just fuels your joy, Aquarius. So that'll be nice. Now on the 21st, we'll have the sun entering Capricorn, excuse me, and the winter solstice begins. So this is a power day as it always is with solstices and equinoxes. So we have that kicking everything off. And then on the 25th, 26th, right at the holiday, depending where you are in the world, the new moon in a Capricorn happen. Oh my goodness. Bear with me. I've been talking for a little while now, Aquarius, so I'm trying to catch my words. New moon in Capricorn and the solar eclipse happens. So first of all, happy Christmas Happy Yule, Happy Hanukkah, whatever it is that you practice and celebrate. It is a magical time of the year, and this Capricorn solar eclipse is going to be the thing catapulting us into 2020, the next decade. And then, you know, this can be a little dark, this particular one. It's at a dark moon. Capricorn, you know, in in the tarot, Capricorn is represented by the devil card, you know, dark, cold earth, you know? And so there could just be that overall feel with this, but it's something we have to maneuver through. Something that involves breaking the chains, breaking bondages in some way, Aquarius. So, Without further ado, let's draw your cards. Ooh. Okay. 
before I get into your tarot messages and this psychic part of this couple of announcements, the goddess moon totem necklaces here, I'm wearing one of them. They are up for purchase on my Etsy shop. Uh, I'm wearing the green adventuring right now. It's especially good for the heart chakra and you know, <laughs> blends well with my shirt as well. But anyways, <laughs> Aquarius, there are five other natural stones such as this one cut in the shape of a moon. And they are at my Etsy shop, link is below. Also, more videos available to you. A lot more content, the 2020 predictions, and two live videos that will be happening each month with me will be on my OnlyFans.com platform. So there'll be extra videos, you know, Right now it's gonna be the 2020 predictions, but I'll always have two videos going, uh, live videos, so you can interact with me live and get some psychic guidance from me live with whatever question you have on your mind at the time. So I wanted to come up with something that was affordable, fun, and offered more to and supports you, supports me, and this is how I found out how to do it. So OnlyFans.com link is below as well in the description box. Without further ado, Aquarius, here we go. Woo! All right. Right off the bat, you have Haggle as your rune stone. So with Haggle being here, and you also have Rebirth as your central energy, Aquarius, major transformations this month. Definitely some endings. If you are feeling nudged, called, you've been longing even to put an end to some parts of your life, to some project, to some job, to some relationship. Now is a good time. You'll be supported more so in December here to do this. To make a doorway for yourself. Create an opening for you to just call it quits with something. You know, with something that has just had its time whether it was toxic or it just served its purpose and you no longer need it or need them. There's no shame. The rebirth process is a big part of life. You know, Aquarius, we're basically reborn every day. When the sun sets, we go to bed. When the sun rises and we awaken to the new day. Okay, so there's that theme and energy for you in December here, in Sagittarius season. I'm feeling a reinvention. It's like shedding old skin, unwanted skin, unwanted habits, thoughts. Perhaps you've been really wanting to change a lot of like fear-based thinking if you've had some fears. That is getting wiped, washed away now. So that's beautiful. Three of Cups is lying underneath here. So I feel like Three of Cups is saying here for you, Aquarius, that there are friends around you who want to connect with you, who want to socialize more with you, who want to share just in your time and in your energy more. And perhaps you recognize that you have that same desire to share with them too. But it has been difficult because I feel like there's been a lack of time. You know, how do you fit them in your schedule when you have some of these other relationships or projects going on that are just sucking away at your energy that don't really need to be anymore. 
So I feel like some friendship, especially friendship, is going to evolve more here once you make space for it, is what these cards are saying. It's about making more space for the people and social connections in your life. Mm -hmm. I feel this strongly for many of you. And there could be just some change for some of you. That change could mean a newborn coming into the picture. I feel like for a lot of you, this could be speaking of a newborn. Of course, it could just mean newborn friendships coming in, newborn energy and way of thinking, of course. But there are some social events and people that want to make their way in that are good for your karma now. I feel like even just more spiritually deeply, Hagel too is solidifying that here. That karmetically, spiritually, some of these friendships and connections need to evolve, need to change. And Aquarius, you typically, I feel like, even though you're a fixed sign, you can, you can be pretty okay with change. And there is a decent amount of Uranian energy going on, which is your ruling pla uh, planet, Uranus. So it's not too surprising that we have that energy of change and transformation showing up. So, pay heed and know that endings don't always have to be hard or sad, which I'm sure you Aquariuses do realize and know. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's essentially what is coming through here for you guys. I am hearing the word real quick though of shake-up. There could be a shake-up. I'm kind of envisioning when this, the story of Jesus, you know, rising from the dead, which some of us believe he was a prophet and a shaman, just throwing that out there, but um, <laughs> that feeling of rising up and rolling away the stone from the door. I mean, you see how the child is emerging here. So some sort of shake-up. Rolling away the stone. Beautiful. So there you have it. The old guidance and themes here, Aquarius. So be sure to check out these are lovely goddess moon totem necklaces. All natural stone. They make great gifts. Um, for sure. And also subscribe to myonlyfans.com. Link is below in the descriptions box. You'll get more videos, those 2020 predictions, and live interaction with me. So super excited about that. Hope you are too. So Aquarius, share your thoughts and feelings with all of this in the comments below. And I will catch you next time. Take care.